Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be taking a look at the set 71719 Zane's Milo Creature or Mino Creature, it depends how you want to pronounce it. Contains 616 pieces, 4 minifigures, cost £45, $50 and €50 Euros at full retail value guys. And this is from the Master of the Mountain th uh, Season 13 range. And as you can see, um, it's a pretty big set, so without further ado, let's jump into this set guys and to see what I've got to say about it. So first off, with the minifigures here, you can see we've got Hero Cole and Hero Zane. These are practically the same ones, but an interesting fact that I noticed is that on their back, they don't have the clips, which is pretty unusual. They've kind of had them on all of them. Every figure I've had of this season, like looking at the other ones from the other set, yeah, they're the same. So that's a little bit peculiar, but there you can see Cole has like a mason and Zane's got his like crossbow. And looking at the shields, it's just a gold design. Which is pretty awesome. But yeah, I do find it kind of weird that they kind of just, um, yeah, what they did with like the, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just really interesting. Something so subtle, it doesn't make a difference. So it's kind of just weird. But anyway, here we have the minifigures. So here we have Cole and Zane. Here you can see them. I think they're still really awesome minifigures. And to be honest, I don't dislike the gold. I know people said it don't work with Zane too well. I, I, I'm not really bothered. Like, it's um pretty awesome. And there we've got Zane who looks... He always looks too serious in these. Like, literally, why so serious to Zane? He's just always so serious. And then taking off this shoulder armor, which I don't know if I've actually kind of focused on this, but... Taking a look at the shoulder armor here, you can see it has the neck hole, then the shoulder pad on the left, and a little bit, and the clip, and yeah, it's kind of cool, so you could potentially, well, not potentially, you could easily use that for anything else you wanted to use it, and here we have Zane and Cole, which, yeah, I think they are definitely good minifigures, it's just a bit weird from what they've done with Zane's face, like, seriously, why is he so angry, he shouldn't be this angry, then here we have Cole and... Um, Zane and I just kind of had a fault. Do you, is there a potential chance that that ribbon on his back is actually I, either from his mask because um, maybe he's ripped it off or his gloves? I've kind of just had that fault because that's kind of the colour of them. But then there's Cole's back deep, the torso detailing, body printing. But yeah, those are those minifigures, which overall I still think they're really good minifigures. And I know that I'm hopefully not in the majority here, but the hero suits have been some of my favourites. So yeah, those are the minifigures. And here we have the geckles, as you can see. That is the same one from Wu's um, Dragon and... Yeah, that's just Wolf Dragon that he's from. Um, a bit of a shame that he's kind of been reused, but still. So on the left, we have Ginghor, and on the right, we have Galek, which, yeah, it is still a pretty awesome minifigure. And, yeah, it's kind of what he looks like. So taking um, a look, once we remove that, there you can see he's printing. It's literally the same for Gin uh, for Ginghor. That's it on the other side, which is such a shame, like I said, with the month, with, um, yeah, the months. Basically, they should have given us more printing because, like, there are so many different versions of these. Like, we could have had one with the lo uh, locket, which I think Galek, he's meant to have the uh, that, but then not a crossbow. So then that kind of doesn't make sense. But then I think it was he had a hood. So I don't really get what they was doing. It is what I think that is one thing about this wave Ninjago. It's been an amazing wave. I will try and do a wave overhaul at some point, uh, overview. But the thing I don't get is the minifigures. Like, just some questions I would love to, like, get an answer to. Just out of curiosity. But, yeah, that's basically that torso detailing. And it's literally the same for Ginkle on the other side. But, yeah, that is that minifigure, which I still think they're really good. And they're pretty cool to build an army. And I think I should have three or four of these by the end of it. And, yeah. So, if we put that head back, let's um, jump into and actually have a look at the little side bits of the set. So taking a look at the little side builds of the set here, you can see you basically just get this stand for your like hero character, which is pretty cool. And I believe you actually get exactly six once you've got them all. So the idea is you can have all the ninja on them. And then this dice, which you get quite a fair amount. And yeah, these are pretty awesome, I got to admit. But I think what I was thinking yesterday, what I think I'm going to end up doing with these is just putting them in a bag. Because one, my shelf is getting very um, full. And second, they kind of don't really make sense. But um, they're still good, but I don't obviously I don't want to break them up. So I think I will just put them in like a labelled bag just for, um, well, yeah, I'll just put, well, I'll just be able to know by the look of it that, um, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. And yeah, that looks pretty cool there. Really do like that mould on this stand. It's funny, this is actually flipped. If I quickly grab another one, as you can see, it's basically mirrored, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And that is cool on the stand. And yeah, you can put something in there. But yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about these. Uh, they're pretty cool, but 
again nothing special and i'm ultimately will put these away because they're not that interesting and this kind of linked to plunder because they had a dice but yeah that is that and taking a look at this little stand here you can see it uses one of those um big big ugly rock pieces which is pretty um yeah it's pretty awesome i've got to admit it is i've always liked that rock piece it kind of always just adds so much detail and i've never actually like disliked it i've always thought it's pretty cool so then here we have first this stick on that says this way then we have one that says this way and then we have like one of the deaf ones i believe or something like that and so you can move it you can kind of have it here or you can have it here they kind of suggest you have it at an angle so then the idea is you can kind of move up these so there's no actual real connection i don't believe like looking at this there isn't to the others but you can still connect it because you could put it like uh, a ledge which mm, i think there's a few places that i'm I could put it and I am going to try and figure that out for when I do the video. I think that actually might be a suggested spot. But yeah, there you can see the stickers again. Then you've got the masonry bricks and lava. You've got that skull one, some kryptonite and just this like little cavern, which is pretty cool. So you can potentially have one of them hiding in there. You could use it as like the one that they do hide in. And um, yeah, it's kind of that for the build. Another thing I think with these, I think I will remove all of the swords. And then I'll just give it to this version of Cole and have him like in the skull saucer i think that could look pretty awesome and then taking a look at this so there is the um ivory blade of deliverance that's not the shadow one taking a look at the top there you can see an x and a candle and then here you can see a spider kind of blocking the way to this other sticker and this kind of area and yeah as you can see it's kind of got like a bit of a a barred design if you want to call it that and putting this back so the idea is is that you can kind of um well if you want you can put one of them up here you don't really need to put him down too much but the idea is you can just flick him up which i think that's a pretty cool feature and yeah that's literally just this little base that's it from the bottom pretty cool with all like the shapes and stuff but yeah overall i think that is a really good side build and yeah let's jump into the minor creature or do we call it zane's minor creature yeah it's kind of the bit that i don't understand this has nothing to do with zane like i was so expecting him to come in like on in the final battle like riding on its back but i i don't remember that happening and if it did it was so minimal and it kind of just never stuck but yeah i kind of don't get why there's like flags on the back it really makes no sense there you can see zane just sitting there i think he um yeah looks cool i guess but i'm definitely not gonna keep him there so okay, taking that off here you can actually see the minor creature which is a fairly wide um well build Con considering it to like a couple of brick separators it's basically three brick separators wide if i can find another one there we go so look that's kind of the good size comparison because most people got a few of them by now but yeah that's kind of how tall it is so having a look at the side of the head there you can see it has this flap which you can sort of angle at what you want then you've got this which that is actually a two by three tile and the eye is printed on, on the top and bottom so then they get to a way of using it both sides which is pretty smart decision and here you can see the side of its face and then obviously you can see the top and yeah it's kind of hard to actually show you the my new creature and can i yeah i can quickly lift it up which i'll show that feature in a minute so there you can see that in better detail and the sign of its face and um yeah it is pretty cool and i have double checked that isn't meant to be up those teeth are meant to be up i will um quickly double check that again yes they are meant to be up so that is fine i just i have to admit i do if anyone is thinking that i do agree if anyone is that uh, looks a bit weird and here you can see the front then you kind of just lift the mouth which i think that's pretty cool you can see sort of in there which i think is pretty yeah it's pretty cool the way they've done that then there you can see an elastic band so you can see the head and then there you can see this massive piece which was also on the um, stone mech completely used for a different purpose and that's like the underside of it but i will show you that kind of in a minute then taking a look at the head you can see that new piece um potentially a bit of white and ice to represent zane but there are those sparkly bits in this venge stone armor which is pretty awesome and taking a look you can see the horns and yeah the head that's pretty cool i have to admit i do like that and then ta and taking a look at the front leg it has yeah i think this looks really cool with like all of the detailing so looking at its foot first there's not really much articulation i will show you that in the end so there you can see that which i think that is pretty cool it's got the three toes sticking out then it's got the leg which i think does look pretty cool then we have this like um shoulder padding which is just basically the venge stone which i think is pretty cool so yeah there's that and there you can see the ice as well and there you can see the main body going around and um yeah you can see those legs which i do think are pretty awesome there you can see that 
And yeah, you can see the actual legs of this, which I do think is pretty awesome. Then there you can see the towel, which you can move up. But it's just basically a hook. But um, yeah, it's kind of it for re really. There's not much, too much to show on this set. It's an amazing set, but I will get into some things about this later. So then there you can see if you want to take a look at the back which um, hmm, you can you can tell what i'm going to be moaning about a little bit later but there you can see that which is pretty cool and then there you can see the inside so yeah that's basically just the same it's just all on left-handed left-sided sorry so you can see it so there you can see the side there you can see this um big uh, shoulder pad again and that's that you can see the back of the feet a bit um weird but that's still pretty awesome and then there you, again you can see another potential problem i i'm gonna have you can see there's a massive gap in there so let's actually get to the feature and i'll explain what i think is a bit bad about so it. quickly taking a look at the top before the feature here we have these flags for zane which um yeah i seriously don't understand why why do we need these really we don't really the set kind of just need like you just need them like that, which I think is pretty awesome. It doesn't look too bad without them, I don't think. So potentially, if you want to keep it like that, you can. I won't. I would prefer to, but I'm not going to customise it. So then there you can see that and that feature. So kind of what you do, well, taking a look at this back. So there you can see the top of the shoulder pads. So there you can see all these horrible holes, which basically in that same spot, you just press down and the head starts doing a bit of a dance. So what it basically looks like you saw what it looks like from there you just press down at the front without getting your finger stuck in there and he kind of just does that that's literally it they've compromised and made these holes just for that which hmm, it's a great set don't get me wrong i still really like this set but seriously i kind of don't get they compromised quite a lot literally just so we can go like this like yes my name is mino creature that's literally it um oops so yeah, all oh, apologies there, minor creature, but um, yeah, I I don't know how I feel about this feature. It's kind of a bit silly in my opinion that the fact look, we've got all these holes here. Is there no way they could have done that better or something? We've got all those holes there. We, then we've got a hole in the neck, and then we've got this elastic band, and they could have filled it up and then they could have potentially made it a bit better. Because like I can it's cool, kids are gonna enjoy this, but for us collectors it's not exactly the thing but thank god the good thing is about this because of how big it is you actually can't see those holes which is really good so on display it shouldn't look too bad and then kind of taking a look at the actual feature in um, conjunction to this so then the idea of this you get this and you can put your um your gecko here which i cannot remember his name already and then you basically get Zane. You can put him on the top. That is Galek. Sorry, that is Galek. And then the other one's Ginkle. So then kind of what you do, you have it like this. You have them all posed out. And then the idea is like that. That's literally it. They've compromised quite a lot of the feature just to do that, which it's great for kids, for adult collectors like myself. Well, not, I'm not actually an adult yet, so that. For older collectors, that's a better term, for, for my, like myself and others. It's just, it doesn't, you know, I think they've made a compromise too much. So there's so many sets where they get the 50-50 perfect balance between being a, in quotation, kid's toy or being a collector's item. So that's definitely one thing I do wish they had done better because, you know, I, I'm a collector. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like, oh, let's do this for like three hours straight. Like, no, I might, I've, I've done it a couple of times, just testing out the feature. But once it's on the shelf, that is, the teacher is not really going to be done that often. So that is a little bit annoying. But let's go into like the outro and I will explain some final thoughts. More feature before the outro, guys, which apologies, I forgot. So you press this in on the shoulder pad and it shoots one of these tiles out. You do it on this side. So if I put this here, you can see that press that in. And it kind of just fires out, which that's pretty cool. But again, it doesn't add too much to the build. And then just slot that in. There you can see the angle of the foot. I'm not sure if I showed it. And then, yeah, there's a, there's a better look at that. All the inner workings, which is a bit annoying to see. But yeah, that is the Mino creature. So overall, guys, I think this is a really good snap. But it is a bit of a shame that it feels like it's been done too much for the play feature like it's a great play feature but like for adult collectors there's no balance which generally there's a perfect balance between having a feature but then it not like compromising the build which it doesn't compromise it too much it just makes it really weird that like i don't even know like kids i can't really like, as a kid i don't i would have enjoyed that feature but it's not as much so i feel like really 
I, I think the ones who are going to have the most fun, I would say, are going to be collectors, like, building it and then displaying it, because I can't really see a kid. This may just have been me, but, like, just doing that for ages. It's like, yeah, you might be able to mimic it and pretend it's got a voice or something, but that's kind of it. So, yeah, I think this is definitely an amazing set. It's a shame that it had to be compromised. You can see the ears were literally just, um, before I say that, just these pieces, which is pretty um, funny, but, um, yeah... It is basically, in my opinion, I think they have compromised the build a little bit in what they're doing. But still, overall, I think this is still a really good set. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until tomorrow's video, guys, bye for now.